everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where today we are taking care of our next main scenario quest as we have finally finished preparing for the banquet. Yustola, welcome back to Costa del Sol. I've been through hell. How are you? What's up? Yustola is concerned for your well-being. So am I. You have the look of a woman who has been to the seventh hell and back. That a guest should be expected to supply the victuals for a banquet held in her own honor. And this while the shadow of Titan looms over us all. This, it beggars belief. I can only applaud your stoicism. Had I been asked to endure such igno ignominy, I fear I should have accepted my lot with less grace. Lady Ishtola, Lady Lanzi. A thousand pardons for this extreme discourtesy. I was wholly unaware of your true identity, madam. Had I known, I would never have permitted my man to subject you to such unspeakable ordeals. Come now, she must have said something was amiss. You didn't seriously think I would send you running the length and breadth of Eorzea for a banquet, did you? Spare her your mockery, Captain. Your intent was unclear to me until this moment. And unlike me, Satora has no knowledge of your traditions. Mayhap you would be so good as to enlighten her. Aye, hi, hi, fair's fair. There's no sense in hiding it any longer. We five were chosen by our brothers and sisters, and before the company of heroes disbanded, and we each swore a solemn oath. That any who would follow in our footsteps must be weighed and measured, not by their reputation, but by their deeds. Each man would judge these would-be godslayers by his own criteria. If even one found her wanting, she would be rejected without a second thought. But if she proves herself worthy, we swore that we would do our utmost to support her cause. The world has ever been full of brave souls eager to give their lives for a righteous cause, but all too few capable of making a difference with their sacrifice. To send wave after wave of hapless adventures into the jaws of a foe against whom they have no hope of victory is worse than futile. Titan is not one to be challenged lightly, and we will not be complicit in the deaths of the unworthy. Which is why the five of you deign to test Satori with such commendable thoroughness. Time well spent, I'm sure, but tell us, Captain, what is the assessment of you and your fellows? She's a brave one, that much is certain. She willingly walked into the midst of danger despite my repeated warnings that it could cost her her life. Her skill is undeniable. She stalked her prey as relentlessly as any child of the sands and struck with precision when an opportunity presented itself. Too many adventures these days care only for fortune and glory. Satora, however, is as kind and generous a soul. I am certain she has no shortage of loyal allies who will gladly fight at her side. Psh, shko. While the Uplander is talentful and plans maker, Trixie foe for Mighty Rock Man. I can only concur with my colleagues' assessments. We five of the Company of Heroes hereby judge you a worthy challenger. Cast down the Lord of the Crags, Satora Lanzi, and write a new chapter in the history of Eorzea. With the formalities out of the way, let the festivities begin. Summon the dancers and pour the wine. Eat, drink, and be merry, my friends, for today we celebrate the birth of a new legend, Satora Lanzi, Titan's Bane. Satora Lanzi, Titan's Bane. They are all quite ridiculous, and I would love to slap you. All right, let's go ahead and talk with everyone before we begin feasting in earnest. Greetings, Satora. I thought it fitting that I seek you out and offer my gratitude for all that you have accomplished. Please conduct yourself with dignity while whilst visiting Costa del Sol. If you behave inappropriately towards other guests, I may be forced to carry you out punitive action. It's like you've forgotten who I am. It's like you're back to your non-quest dialogue. It has been too long since I last set foot outside Forgotten Springs, passing the time with old friends and old wine. Hi, today is a good day indeed. All right, where do we have... 
others of the company of heroes. Down this way, I presume. Let's see, we've got Landon now. Seeing everyone again like this brings back such fond memories. Hmm, I wonder if any of them would be interested in reforming the company. Hello there, Brayflox. Psh, shko, tasty fresh treats are plentiful in belly of Brayflox. And Shimani. It feels wonderful to be with the others again. I wish this day would never end. Yeah, yeah. You made me do all the hard work. All right, I'm ready to feast. Congratulations, sweetling. Now relax and enjoy the show. It's only just begun. All right, now where are we going to sit? Ah, right over here. God. Tasting the exotic feast triggers a divine revelation. In that brief transcendent moment, you glimpse the true form of reality, comprehend its fleeting nature, and cry out to the heavens in celebration. Must have been a damn good feast. Wish I could have tasted it. Alright, now we get to talk with all the company of heroes again. Hello there! When you face the Lord of Crags, think not of Limsa Nomensa, Eorzea, or anything beyond his chamber. Think only of the men and women by your side. Fight for them, and they will fight for you. Remember that no great victory was ever achieved alone. Psh, shkaw. Goodly Uplander must be facing mighty Rockman with clever fighty thing. Gobbyflock cannot be coming to rescue this time. Ah, uh, Satora, you brave fool. Promise me that when you meet Titan, you'll look him in the eye and tell him Landon L sends his regards. I'm sure I won't forget. I'm gonna forget. I already forgot. You are a veteran of countless battles, Satora. This is but one more. Trust in your experience and you will prevail. And finally, Whiskat. You are blessed with a fortitude to rival the Earth itself. Titan will struggle to break you, I think. And we're finally done. You are kind to indulge them, Satora. This banquet is, mu is as much for the company as it is for you, whatever they may claim. I do not deny that they mean well, but now is scarcely the time for celebration. Though they have all but pronounced you the victor, the battle with Titan has yet to begin. The hour has come for the good captain to make good on his promise. We must speak with him again. Alright then. Almost time to fight Titan. I promise. Two more. We have one more main scenario quest, and then the one after that, we can finally fight Titan. And we get a mount speed increase for Eastern Lenosia. Where are you? Oh, goody, goody. Now we're gonna run around even faster in the area. Beautiful. Alright, then next time on Final Fantasy XIV. We are taking on, before we move on with the main story, our level 35 Weaver quest. We gotta get some good equipment before we take on Titan. I'll see everyone next time for that.